Hey everybody, Sean here with Revealing Truth. This is just a short clip taken directly from Facebook, and it's from a session called Moving Into Apostleship. Like, when are these people going to learn that only God appoints apostles? The Bethel School of Supernatural Ministry cannot teach this. Anyhow, I'm just going to let this play through and comment at the end, but Chris says that the gospel is not of salvation and that we're not supposed to go everywhere preaching salvation. Isaiah 61, the Spirit of the Lord God's upon you. Why? So you can get totally well and everyone with you gets well. For what reason? So you can rebuild room cities. I'm pointing out that the gospel is about, it's not the gospel of salvation, it's the gospel of the kingdom. We weren't supposed to go everywhere preaching salvation, which is good, but how I many know salvation is onto something bigger? Salvation is the entrance into the kingdom. Everything we do is important, keeping the main thing the main thing, and that is loving Jesus. But once we love Jesus, once we have Jesus in our life, Jesus is always looking to restore cities. Yeah, so Bethel's unbiblical school, Teaching Signs and Wonders, has jumped to a new level of heresy. What is the gospel? Gospel means good news. What is the good news? That Jesus took the penalty for sin, which is death, and that all of us who deserve that penalty can be set free from this sentence by repenting and putting our faith in Jesus. It's a free gift from God that nobody can earn. Just like when someone pays your fine in a courtroom. Romans 1.16 says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel, because it is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes. So yeah, the gospel is about salvation. It's not the gospel of salvation. And Mark 16 says that we are to preach the gospel to all creation. We weren't supposed to go everywhere preaching salvation. Sorry, Chris, wrong again. And we can follow that up with Romans because it tells us clearly that to hear the gospel, someone must preach it to them. But Chris would rather focus on his dominion theology and make it all about rebuilding cities. I don't know how anybody can listen to this guy. As always, leave your thoughts and comments below. And until next time, take care and God bless.